Here's everything Apple announced at the California streaming special event. First thing, the new base iPad. It has an A13, it has an ultra wide front facing camera, it starts at the same price, but it has 64 gigs of storage included. Same display though. Next, the new iPad mini. I wasn't expecting it at this event, honestly. It has an 8.3 inch borderless display, Touch ID, it supports the second gen Apple Pencil, it also has USB-C, great, the leak was correct. It's basically an iPad Air, but smaller. Unlike an iPad Air though, it has a flash, and 5G. What? This thing makes no sense. I guess it's better than the previous one. But it's not cheap. It starts at 499. Next, the new Apple Watch. The leaks were wrong. Kinda. Apple somehow made every major leaker believe that it was going to have a new design. It doesn't have a new design, but it does have a bigger display. I'm confused. This bigger screen allows for a full keyboard. What? Of course it has new watch faces, taking advantage of the bigger display. It comes in black, white, green, blue and red. And it has the same price, 399. Next, the new iPhone, the iPhone 13. Five months ago, for a variety of reasons I won't repeat today, I made a prediction. Many believe that it'll be called iPhone 12s. I disagree. Even when everyone, every single leaker, with or without a reputation, was saying that it was actually going to be named iPhone 12s, I did not retract my statement. I guess I made the right thing. So what's new? Well, it has a new A15 chip, which is 50% faster than the competition, whatever that means. But putting bureaucracy aside, what has actually changed? The cameras are a bit better, both on the regular models and on the pros. Mainly, it's better for low light photos and it's a bit faster, apparently. There is this new cinematic mode for videos. Basically, it automatically focuses on stuff in the shot based on context somehow. If it works, this is actually very cool, but it comes to the price, your ability to feel joy. This is how the new camera module looks like on the regular iPhones, while on the Pros it looks the same but it's not the size of the observable universe. I mean, we will get used to it, and personally I don't even mind it that much, but please let me just capitalize on general discontent. Oh my god, is Apple doomed? The new iPhone camera is a total deal breaker. It's a tragedy, it's worse than the plague. I'm selling all of my Apple stock. This wasn't financial advice anyway. Of course this wasn't the only change, there's also a smaller notch. Personally it's not something I ever cared about, you don't even notice the notch while using the phone. Face ID was not improved though. Oh right, the pros have promotion now which means the animations will feel smoother in some instances, thanks to the display being able to refresh the image up to 120 times per second, twice as many times as every previous iPhone. But there's no always on, not even on the Pros. The Mini and the Pro last one hour and a half longer, the standard and the Pro Max two and a half hours longer. Nice. The regular models come in black, white, red, blue and pink. And the Pros come in graphite, silver, gold and Sierra blue. They just love stupid names like that. The prices are all the same, but now the base model starts at 128 gigs of storage. And there is a one terabyte option for the pros, for only $1,499. Great! They will all be available on September 24th. Of all the stuff, what am I going to buy? Nothing, because I'm broke. But what about you? Are you interested in something they announced today? Let me know. The comments exist for this purpose. Ciao!